Hey there, Chad Bonninger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're comparing companies in the wine market, you'll want to compare company financials, operating revenues, net income, things like that, across all the companies that you possibly can. Mergent Online is a database that will allow you to compare U.S. companies and companies abroad in international markets in a variety of ways. This video shows you how to find those companies and how to compare them with Mergent Online. So here you go. So let's say you've done some Googling and you found this big company that's Williamette uh, Valley Vineyard Incorporated out of Oregon in the United States. And you've, you've done as your friendly librarian has said to do and say, go look for company information in Mergent Online for that company. So you've done that. You've gone and found this company. And what you find here is lots of good information, business summary, financials, all this kind of good stuff. And you say, well, I actually want to look at competitors for this company. So you click on competitors here. Now, what this will give you is a list of competitors according to the database, and you'll see that there's some things in here like Boston Beer Company, there's um, some of these are like warehouses and things like that. So this isn't really a great competitor list. So, so what you can do to create your own list of competitors, if you're not satisfied with this list, is to go up here and use these industry codes here. And so I'm going to choose this Nate's code with this 312130. I'm just going to copy that guy right there. And we're going to go back and do a search here in Mergent Online. Okay, so what you're able to do is go over here and search for primary NAICS code. And we can plug that NAICS code right in there. And we'll just leave it, because I'm looking for global companies, so I'm not going to choose a, comp a country or an exchange or an index or anything like that. And we're going to do search. Now the problem with this, it, this way of searching, is that it finds a whole lot of companies. Here we have 110 public companies. So we're like, cool, let's look at that. So we click there. And unfortunately, there's no real way other than to sort this to filter out the inactive companies. I really don't want those inactive companies, okay? So what we have to do instead is go back to our search screen here. And instead of using this search, we're going to use the advanced search. Now what this will allow us to do is basically to deselect this inactive company database here and only get active companies. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to click on industry codes here. And we're going to do primary NAICS code. You can do any NAICS, but that might be if there's a holding company who has holdings in wine, they might have a NAICS code for that. I want to get companies who are primarily engaged in wine production. So that's when we're doing primary NAICS code. So we'll do that, add our NAICS code, click submit here, and see now it finds 69 companies, which is a lot better than the 110. So we don't have to deselect a bunch of things. So we click over here and click view, and it's going to go give us our list of companies here. Okay. So what we can do now is there's this thing over here under Mergent Tools called a company analysis list. And you'll see there's nothing there right now. But what we can do is up here in the top left, we can add all companies to our company analysis list. And when we do that, we have 69 companies over here. And so now we can click on this company analysis list. And this gives us a couple of options here. Let me shrink this down so it'll actually fit on our page here. So this gives us a couple of options. The, the default selection is this multiple company report. And if we select that, it's going to give us a big, long PDF of all these companies. And I don't really want that. I want tables comparing the companies. And so to do that, we're going to do this company comparison report right here. So we click that. And what countries we want or companies we want over there, we just click the, the Add button here. And we scroll down. And let's say we want things like, oh, let's say we want to know how big the company is. So we'll do number of employees. And we'll add that guy over there. And then we'll scroll down. Let's do some financial information here. Now, because we're dealing a lot with international companies, uh, we may not have all the same information available, depending on what's reported there. So we'll just do a few items here to see what, what actually uh, we can find. And we will do uh, total revenue there. OK. And then we can go into ratios and maybe do, let's do net profit margin. OK. Now, before we click uh, our Create Report down here, we can choose the years we want. If you wanted to, you can hold the Select button down or the Shift key down and actually click and get all the available data that's here. I'm just going to do the latest. And I'm also include an average, which will give us an average of all the companies there uh, in the header for us. So now we can go down and choose Select a Format. I'm just going to do HTML. If you want to, you can download to Excel if you like. So we'll do HTML, and then we'll create a report. So for the companies we selected, uh, here is uh, the list of information that we have uh, for for a number of employees, the advertising spent. You can see uh, probably mostly are just U.S. brands who are reporting that. Um, net income, 
uh, and you'll notice um, this is actually all results are stated in US dollars so you are comparing apples to apples here uh, we get net profit margin things like that so a great way to kind of compare you can also sort this if you want to see you know who's the uh, uh, let's do the other way uh, who's on top as far as the largest companies uh, in the world who produce wine uh, and that sort of thing so a great way to get good international and US market information for companies in the wine and wine winery industry Hopefully this video helps you understand how to use Merchant Online to compare companies in the wine market. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.